Greetings. The period of time from about 2017 through the end of 2019, relatively speaking, was the most challenging period of my life experience so far. One may use words like crisis or contrast to describe this time. And I don't necessarily, for the purposes of what I wanted to share today, need to go into um, any of the specifics of what I was experiencing during that time. What I want to discuss today is um, a system that I have discovered that has been instrumental for me in the intervening time or the, the time after that particularly challenging time of trial that has offered me the opportunity for self-inquiry. So I guess what I would like to suggest is that maybe the general theme of today's Lightcast episode is how one may maintain perspective in times of crisis, or how one may remain resonant with their highest perspective through a time of challenge. I think that makes sense. I may not be yet appropriately caffeinated for this. We'll find out. So the system that I would like to share with you, and I've referenced it in previous episodes to be sure, is um, the gene keys. And for those of you who aren't aware of it, I'll just say briefly that um, the gene keys are a system of correspondences, a synthesis of some ancient modalities and modern science. Um, there's a lot in it. And so I don't want to overwhelm you by explaining where it came from. Um, as you become more aware of it, you can look uh, at the Gene Keys website or also Gene Keys on YouTube and explore. Uh, the founder of the system is his name is Richard Rudd, and he they've done a lot of really great um, videos to kind of introduce you to the system. But what I'd like to share is the first contact or kind of your fir first exposure to the synthesis or to the system if you decide to take a look at it for yourself. Um, and so by going to genekeys.com, um, you have the opportunity to input your birth date and time and place, and it generates for you um, a three-page document. Um, that includes, uh, I've just printed mine out here so I can share it with you. It includes your hologenetic profile and then some brief descriptions of some of the energetic themes of your incarnation. It's pretty spicy stuff. Um, and I'm actually just going to kind of read this to you to give, this is my profile, and so it'll give you a sense of like, Actually, for me, coming off the tail end of that particularly contrasting, challenging time is when I discovered this. So I want to give you a sense of the information that I was receiving at that moment of kind of coming out of that. Um, it, was, it was a really lovely thing to receive, to contemplate. So here goes. Gene Key's Hologenetic Profile for Jared Treadway. Genius. My deepest purpose in life is to manifest the gift of mindfulness. To realize my purpose, I need to transform the shadow of forgetting. 
love. In relationships, my greatest challenge is to transform the shadow of unease into the gift of intuition. The highest expression of my heart is justice. Prosperity. I unlock my prosperity through my gift of teamwork. I undermine my prosperity through the shadow of interference. I thrive best in partnership. And then at the bottom uh, is the little tag, a journey of self-illumination. So that's the very first thing you read when you download this document that it generates for you. And then on the next page, you go in just a bit deeper and you learn about the specific gene keys that are kind of the four prime gifts of your profile. If we were saying like there's a piece, you're a piece of architecture, these would be like the pillars at the corner that hold the whole thing up. So my life's work, this is all written from first person, by the way. So my life's, my life's work, what I'm here to do, the energy of Gene Key 27. Your life is about giving support and nurturance to others, but never at the expense of yourself. The first law for you to learn is how to, pro, uh, how to provide for yourself. Once you have established your own security, you can afford to devote your energy to others. Without this service at the heart of your, of your life, you will never feel a sense of real purpose. To be altruistic means that you have a real knack for investment. And this is something you can rely on. You will always sense who is ready to be helped and who is beyond help. Your intent to serve others must also be absolutely pure, rather than based on any need for recognition or personal vanity. It is better for you to be selfish than to serve another for the wrong reason. Because even if it looks as though you are doing a good thing, you are really feeding the victim consciousness in others and paying the price yourself. My evolution, what I'm here to learn. Gene key 28. This 28th gene key and its shadow are an excellent barometer to gauge how deeply you accept and embrace your own life. Since the 28th shadow and gift concern our inner sense of purpose as well as our health and vitality, you know that when you feel drained and emotionally empty, it's because you have gone adrift and forgotten why you're here. You are here for the thrill of life, no matter what it brings you. When you become too self-obsessed, the 28th shadow will remind you by making you question the purpose of your life. Conversely, when all is going smoothly, the 28th gift will keep you totally absorbed with whatever is before you, thereby preventing you from worrying about the future. My radiance, what keeps me healthy. Gene Key 19. There is nothing as important to your health and well-being as your living environment. You have a profound sensitivity to places, houses, buildings, even whole countries. If you feel any disturbance in your life, particularly in your sleep patterns, you are probably picking up on environmental conditions. Your sensitivity to such things affords you rare insights into the real issues beneath the surface of people's lives and relationships. For you to sleep the night in another person's home is enough to know everything about that person. Also, of great importance for you is the right food. Your food creates the inner environment of your sensitivity, one of your greatest gifts in life. 
So you have to find out precisely which foods sensitize you and which desensitize you. And finally, my purpose. What deeply fulfills me. Jinki 33. There is a primary truth for you to digest. You will not really know the purpose of your life until you are older. The only thing for you to do is live your life's work. The rest will be revealed to you progressively over the course of your life. You need to have a great store of patience. The early stages of your life are the experiential building blocks that much later in life will culminate in your discovering why, you're, why you are here. Everything you do is steering you towards something. And this something will come as a great revelation later in life. Because of this, you must not be frustrated. In fact, rather the opposite. Knowing this, relax deeply into who you are and let go into the natural rhythm of your life. Like the river that eventually reaches the ocean, it will all make sense to you in the end. Until then, love every moment as richly as you can. Even though you are destined for victory, it is the journey itself that truly matters. Okay, so that's the document, and then along with that, um, I believe the Gene Key Synthesis offers you uh, an audio contemplation of your um, life's work energy, which for me would be Gene Key 27. So you listen to Richard Rudd speaking words about that uh, Gene Key. And then maybe there there is like a f first step of your activation sequence. There... Let me back up, and I think I've said this before, but the gene key synthesis is vast. And so this is your first contact, potentially, with, with the whole thing. But you could spend years contemplating what I just shared uh, and then continue further with your engagement of the gene keys into all these other areas and layers of the synthesis. Uh, it's amazing. And then, so along with that, um, as I discovered the Gene Keys and my profile, of course, uh, I wanted to know more. So there is a book. There are 64 total Gene Keys, and this is the main Gene Keys book um, that goes in depth about each of the 64. And within each of the 64, um, like for instance, the, on the in the twenty seventh gene key, it's a spectrum. Uh, the energy moves from selfishness to altruism to selflessness. So there's a shadow, a gift, and a city, which is a Sanskrit word that means sort of divine essence. And so, by contemplating the energy of the twenty seventh gene key, you you can kind of feel into the movement of that energy from a shadow frequency. Uh, realizing that there then is a gift buried within that shadow and then its highest expression. So put this back in context with um, experiencing a time of particular trial or tribulation and wanting to maintain focus, um, maintain the higher perspective on things and not get too bogged down in the challenge of what's occurring to you. You kind of feel where I'm coming from with this. So the Gene Keys give you gives you an excellent sort of platform and container for self-inquiry. And so as you're having an experience, um, an outer experience, for example, you can turn within and contemplate what's going on with you uh, within the context of these energies that you're kind of realizing and learning are a part of who and what you are here during this incarnation. It was a really great blessing for me to receive this. And I think I'll be sharing more about it um, 
but I just wanted to offer this to you sort of as an introductory, uh, an introduction so that if you haven't um, taken a look at it, you might consider heading over to genekeys.com and entering your information and see what you discover. Along with that, let me also say that from my perspective, it is not at all necessary that you actually input your information and receive your specific hologenetic profile. I think that's something you may do. However, just getting a copy of the book, it's available at major booksellers um, and Amazon, um, getting a copy of that and then just contemplating each of the 64 gene keys would be transformative for anyone. Um, so you don't even really have to, actually you would probably feel your way to the specific gene keys that that either you resonate with uh, or that that provoke some sense of excitement or growth within you. So you don't really need gene keys to tell you what those are. And we are all subject to all of them, all these patterns. So take a look at it. I'm excited to uh, hear if any of you do um, pro generate your profile and like share what your first impressions may be with me. I'd love to know. Um, and I'll say I have actually in the intervening time since I first discovered the system, I have become a part of the Gene Keys global synarchy, um, the media team actually. So I am sort of behind the scenes helping generate uh, some of the Gene Keys uh, materials and media that goes out globally. So that's been a really exciting project, uh, series of projects for me to participate in. I feel like I'm serving um, the expansion of the synthesis. And then I've recently, in um, May this year, completed the Gene Keys Guides program. So I'm now in the contemplation phase of realizing um, how that may or may not be outpictured in my experience. I think something will happen, um, and we may have some opportunities, you and me, to uh, engage with one another uh, around this brilliant teaching. Okay, I feel like I was really scattered with this one, but uh, hopefully it got my point across. If you are experiencing a time or particular trial, the Gene Keys can be a system of self-inquiry that you may take a look at to keep you focused on the big picture, to help you maintain your highest perspective through this challenging time. And in this way, and I can attest from my own experience, the greatest challenges of your life will also become your greatest teachers. And so you really can trust that you can say thank you to all of your experiences. Very good. Thank you. We'll see you next time.